It starts with the Red Sox. All right, let's get things out now to the Bronx. The clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. Meredith Morakovitz, there has been a lot going on over the last 24 hours. So why don't you fill us in on everything that's happened with this uh, merry-go-round of a Yankees roster? Ryan, I think it's pretty fair to say it has been a wild 24 hours for the Yankees. They're now playing the Red Sox with a very different roster than they thought they would have heading into the second half of the season. But as they say, the show must go on. So here's a look at what has transpired over the last 24 hours. Aaron Judge, Kyle Higashioka, Wandy Peralta, Gio Urshela, and Nestor Cortez all placed on the health and safety protocol list with COVID-19. Jonathan Lewisaga was placed on that list back on July 10th. Now, something that is not at all COVID related, Luke Voigt was placed on the 10 day IL with a bone bruise in his knee. Aaron Boone said that he had that knee drained the other day. He'll likely have a PRP injection over the next couple of days. They are hopeful that he will not be out that long. So who exactly do the Yankees have right now? Here's a look at who they called up from AAA. Chris Gittens, Rob Brantley, Hoy Park, Greg Allen, and Trey Ambergi. He played in 568 minor league games. He has been waiting a long time for this opportunity, and he is, in fact, in tonight's lineup. As far as Zach Britton is concerned, he is back off the IL. He'll be an option for Aaron Boone in that back end of the bullpen. But I asked Aaron Boone, with all this adversity that this team is going through right now, how they are going to bounce back against the Red Sox. It's a great opportunity for a number of for for our team and, and for a lot of people that you know are are getting opportunities uh, in some cases for the first time at the big league level or sometime uh, for, for the first time in this organization. A lot of these guys that we got to see in spring training, um, a lot of these guys that are having really strong seasons down in in the minor league. So um, we're really excited to go take the field tonight and and have the opportunity to go up against you know the first place team in our division and and we expect to go play well i think we just try to control what we can control we're here right now um we're getting after our preparation getting ready for the game um shaking hands with the newcomers getting them uh indoctrinated into the clubhouse and situated as best they can so they can perform tonight uh, and we'll get after the ball once uh once the first pitch is thrown what is the mood in there right now with everything that's going on uh pretty much exactly what i described business as usual and uh just looking forward to getting getting the game off. Well, you got to understand um, there's going to be a game regardless. I mean, I guess technically not yesterday, but we got to make these up um, and we got to keep pushing. So, uh, you know, we got some guys to fill in and, and they know they'll have to step up and, and we, we got to file in. Look, there's never a good time for this to happen, but you guys play the Red Sox, I think, seven times in the next 10 games. Do you look at this as the most important series of, of the season? Um, yeah, I mean, going forward, uh, at, at playing everyone in our division is super important to, to catch up, especially uh, the Red Sox. So, uh, yeah, we, we know we know this is huge, and we just got to do it one at a time. You're missing a lot of personnel. Do you think you have enough pieces to get the job done? Uh, we got to play smart. I mean, uh, the, it's, it's the, the battle of the least mistakes, and uh, I think if we go out and play good baseball, you know, we'll be fine.